In this video, I'm going to show you how to add enhanced content like images, links, or attachments into D2L. If you are a student, you'll use this primarily in the discussion board, but if you're a course instructor, you can use this process almost anywhere in D2L that you see the HTML editor window. Right now, we're looking at an example of the HTML editor, which happens to be a new thread being created by a student in the discussion board. Right now, you're looking at an abbreviated version of the editor, but if you click this button in the upper right-hand corner of the HTML editor window, you'll make all of the editor options available to you. Now, just like in word processing software, you can use these buttons to edit the font, the size, the color, and even the appearance of your text but I'm going to focus the rest of this video on these three buttons here, the first three buttons, which are specific and unique to D2L. If you hover your mouse over these buttons, you can see what they do, which is a great reminder for you. The first one is insert stuff, the second one is insert image, and the third was one is insert quick link. Now, whatever kind of enhanced content you wanna add into the HTML editor, the first thing you do is click your mouse wherever you want that content to go. Because I want my attachment to appear here, I'm going to click there so my mouse is right in that area. Then I'm going to click this very first insert stuff button. Now along with adding files and attachments, you can also use this insert button if you're so inclined to add a video note, a YouTube video, or even embed code if you're familiar with HTML coding. For this example, we're just going to add a document as an attachment. So to do that, I click choose file. I select the file off of my computer that I want to add. I click upload, and then here in the link text area, I'm gonna type the text that I want folks to click on in order to download this document or to view this document. In this case, I'm just going to call it sample uploaded document. Then I click insert. And now I can see that my attached document has been included with this HTML editor content. Now let's say I wanna add an image. The process is very similar. I put my mouse where I want the image to be added. I click the second insert image button and now this takes me to this add a file interface. So I can either drag the picture from my desktop that I want to add or I can click upload, click on an image, click open, click add, give my image some alternative text. You can think of this as the image title, click OK and now I can see my image has been added. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a link into this HTML editor content. To do that, I click the third button, which is insert quick link. Now, if you're a student, you're only gonna see one option here. You're only gonna see URL as an option. So I'm gonna click on that. And this is where I either type or paste the link that I want to go to. For now, I'm just gonna go to the okcu.edu website, and it's important that you include the full http colon slash slash when you're putting in your URL. And then the title is the link or the text that's going to appear in that link. So I'm going to type click here for the OCU website. You can decide whether you want this link to appear in a new window in the same frame or in the whole window. I would probably recommend the new window button. Then you click insert. Now I can expand this HTML editor window to see everything that I've added. Here is the document that I've uploaded. Here is the picture that I've added. Here is the link that I've added. And then depending on what tool you're in, I simply click post or submit or create. And now in this case, it's a discussion board thread. My thread has been created. If I click on the title, I can actually view the image. If I click on the image link, it takes me to that image in a new window. And that's all there is to it, to adding enhanced content into D2L with the HTML editor.